Hi guys, here in uh, Corel Draw X6, and I got a macro running. This is also for X7. We also have a this macro available for X4 and X5. GDG Color Click uh, Extreme. If no one's familiar with this macro, you can select an object, and it'll show you what colors are in the object. And if you select a color, it'll it'll grab that color in groups or power clips. So I'll undo that. And this is a trace result. I happen to have a lot of colors in this trace result, and I don't want this many colors. It makes the macro difficult to do its job, too. So uh, one thing I like to do is I'll just click here, clear there, is use another macro called uh, Oberon Limit Colors, and this is made by Alex Belenko. And you can find this macro by doing a Google search on Oberon Macros, and you can find Welcome to Oberon. So we'll see if we can find the macro. It's one of my favorite places on the web is Alex's website. Uh, we click here, Corel Draw BBA Macros, and you can find the Limit Colors macro right there, which you can download and run. So I'm going to close this, and I'm going to show you how it works. I'll select my item. And you have to select your item before running his macro. It doesn't have a modeless form like mine, so once you run the macro, you can't go out of it. So that's my selected item. And you just choose a uh, color palette. So I'll just choose this one. It's one of my little custom palettes. And you click OK. And it says uh, that the objects have been processed. And basically, well, this time it didn't work extremely well. Some of them colors actually don't look like uh, how you would want them to be converted, but it limited the colors in the macro and or on the, the graphic. And now in my macro, you can select it and you can see there's a only, let's see, there's one page and one more color on the next page for this uh, graphic here. So like if I want to click Save Selection here, and there's 137 shapes in this. So I'll click here for the uniform colors, and if I wanted to select certain colors, I could do that, and I could change those colors. And, you know, I have less items to deal with because I use the limit colors macro. And I can combine uh, the objects of the same color. And this macro is pretty handy. You can find it on my website, and uh, it's a great way to you can select a graphic, and if you need to select certain colors out of that graphic, like if I want multiple colors, I'll just click this here. Say I want to select the lime, the teal, the maroon. Click again, and it selects those colors. And I can change them to anything I want when I click it again. And that's a little tip of the day. Hope you liked it.